Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Draw Their Life. And today's episode is made possible by Surfshark VPN. If you want online security, access to censored contents, unlimited simultaneous connections, try Surfshark VPN and use code DTL to get 83% discount and one month free on your order. Links in the description. And today we're drawing the awesome life of Mini Minter. If you don't know who Mini Minter is, let me break it down for you. Mini Minter, aka Simon, is a massive YouTuber with 8.3 million subscribers on his YouTube channel. Not only that, he's a prominent member of Sidemen. Mini Minter started his YouTube career with FIFA Gaming, and from that, his channels evolved to different levels. Currently, Mini Minter is mainly focused on doing challenge videos, group videos, and that kind of stuff. Simon started his YouTube channel when he was in school and dropped out of college to do it full time. It was a very hard decision for him. To be able to pursue YouTube as a full-time job, he had to work in a factory as a low-wage worker. Mini Minter and KSI are school buddies, and KSI helped him a lot in shaping his YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to cover it all. But before we get into the video, comment below, who's your favorite member in the Sidemen? And let's get right into the video. I can't even begin to comprehend having a million subs. I'd have to do something pretty special, I guess, for a million. Mini Minter is the channel of Simon Edward Minter. Simon was born on September 7, 1992, which makes him 27 years old. Simon's mom is from Leeds, England. He has two elder brothers. When Simon was three or four years old, his family moved to Hemel in Hertfordshire, England. He joined the Berkhamsted School there. Simon's entire schooling was done in this school. Many people might not know this, but KSI was actually a school friend. KSI started his YouTube channel during their schooling period, and he dropped out in the seventh year. However, Simon found out about him doing YouTube only when he was in the 11th grade. He got interested in what KSI was doing and was happy to help him around. Simon would help him make videos whenever he could. He used to help shoot or edit or to act if they needed a white guy. So Simon had his thoughts of starting his own YouTube channel. During his senior high school, he was so much into football. He used to play like three days a week. That explains why he was playing football in his channel for so many years. After schooling, Simon joined university. He was doing criminology in the Hulk University in London. Simon has said that he enrolled for the wrong course and didn't enjoy doing it. And I basically dropped out because I just didn't enjoy it, but if I didn't have any other option, I guess I would have stayed on and been pretty miserable. Yeah, I was on the wrong course, so I didn't I don't know. It would have been a waste of time me staying there. So he thought of starting a YouTube channel for gaming, as he likes playing video games. He loves his football. Took him to FIFA game. He recorded his first video, edited, re-edited, and waited for almost three weeks with that. He couldn't muster his courage to go ahead and upload it. Finally, after much thought, he decided to start out in the December of 2012. For some reason, I had a video ready for about three weeks and I just, I was pretty scared to upload it and... He uploaded his first video on December 7th, 2012 in his channel named Mini Minter. It was a FIFA 13 football gameplay video. Hi guys, welcome to my first video. I thought I'd just try winning the Gold Cup in FIFA Ultimate Team and as you can see, this is the team I'd be playing in the first round. He started uploading videos after this, but very irregularly. Sometimes one video in a week or sometimes one video in a month. Meanwhile, his college studies was not going that well. He didn't want to continue and eventually, after two months of college, he dropped out of university. Simon told that KSI has influenced him a lot in the dropout decision. Seeing him as a full-time YouTuber and the fact that KSI took him along in his YouTube journey helped him make that decision. However, Simon's parents didn't support him on this. They were completely against stopping the education and going with YouTube. And also his mom told that if he's gonna quit studies, then he has to join some work immediately. You can't simply while away sitting at home. So Simon decided to work and continue with his YouTube channel along with a job. He started working in a warehouse. Simon continued uploading football gameplay videos. His views and subs were increasing slowly. In February 2013, he came on camera for the first time. So I decided to try and do a vlog series. Yay, vlogs! Once a week, maybe, if you guys like it, that is. He was starting a vlog series then. By July 2013, he moved from one video per week to almost two, three videos per week. His views were increasing gradually. 
he was only playing FIFA 13 in this channel and a lot of his viewers were on the channel because of that however Simon wanted to play and upload other random games also so in September 2013 he started a second channel called mm7 games he started uploading minecraft and GTA videos there Meanwhile, he started playing FIFA 14 in his main channel. By November 2013, he reached 50,000 subs. The channel was growing in the right pace. Now, as we know, Simon and KSI were school friends. They knew Toby and Josh, who lived streets apart. They all enjoyed playing GTA together. Then Ethan, Harry, and Vic came along in the group. They all thought it would be fun to record these gaming sessions together. That's when they first thought of a gaming house. They all lived nearby to each other and decided to go ahead with the idea. They found a mansion in London itself, named it Sidemen. It was in February 2014. Later, many others also joined the Sidemen house. Moving to Sidemen house was a major turning point in Simon's gaming career. Basically, if you guys didn't know, I have moved into a house and at the moment it is me, Zerka and Vicstar. We are just awaiting on the last member, JJ, he's always late. He left his warehouse job and became a full-time gamer. This made him to upload consistently one video per day in both of his channels. Also, the videos with his fellow gamers helped each of their channels a lot. The content became more interesting and varied. Simon continued this for the next couple of years. His subscribers and views were increasing. He played FIFA and any football games available. In May 2016, Sidemen Group decided to start a common YouTube channel for them. The channel basically showed all the content they made as a team. It grew fast, yielding millions of subscribers and views. Welcome to the Sidemen channel. Hey guys and welcome to the Sidemen channel. Hey guys and welcome to the Sidemen channel. Hey guys and welcome to the Sidemen channel. In September 2016, Simon's channel hit 5 million subs. In February 2018, a second channel was started for Sidemen. This channel had some extra videos of the Sidemen members, more fun stuff. It was in May of 2018, Simon first introduced his girlfriend to the audience. Yo guys, what is going on and welcome to the lie detector test with my girlfriend, Talia. Hi. Her name is Talia and she's a YouTuber. She had her channel from 2016 and is into makeup and fashion. Soon Simon appeared in her channel and she became a part of the mini minter videos frequently. His viewers loved the challenges and vlogs they did together with their friends and family. Throughout 2018, his channel grew to many more millions. Everything's going great. However, as time passed, many members of the Sidemen channel moved out to their own houses or other places. Even though the channels continued, they started living separately. By the end of 2018, it was only Simon and JJ in the house. In January 2019, it was their turn. Simon moved out of the mansion and acquired a flat along with KSI. Even though the members are not staying together, they still do videos together regularly. And both the channels are going very good. After moving, Simon kind of stopped uploading regularly on his main channel. He got a lot of questions from his fans and followers regarding this. In May 2019, Simon talked to his viewers about this. Simon told them that he's tired of regular uploads and is not motivated enough to upload daily. He had been uploading one video per day on both his channels for the last five years. He hadn't missed, not even a day. It was high time he'd take a break from his cycle. To be honest, for my main channel, I'm just I'm just burnt out, if I'm honest. Four years I was posting every single day. I know a lot of them were gaming videos and stuff, but now I'm just kind of just in that dull period right now where I don't really know what I want to do. However, he told that he's enjoying doing group videos, so Sidemen channel had its regular uploads with him. And his second channel was also doing well. It's just that he didn't enjoy doing much by himself in his main channel. As of now, he has 8.2 million subs in his channel, Mini Minter, and a total of 2 billion views. Each of his channels gets an average of 1.5 million views. He uploads once in a week or twice. His second channel has 3.8 million subs, in which he uploads daily. Keeping everything aside, guys, I think Simon's a great guy. He'd been consistently working hard to reach where he is now. From having 100 subs, he's worked his way up to millions of fans in his channel. He's always open to new opportunities and has used every given chance to excel in what he does. Simon has a long way to go and we wish him all the very best. Also, if you watch lots of YouTube, use public Wi-Fi, then you guys need a reliable VPN, like Surfshark VPN. Surfshark is not one of your regular VPNs in the market. It does lots of things, like secure your sensitive data when you use a public Wi-Fi. 
give you access to international content from Netflix, Hulu, Amazon, all that good stuff. Not only that, you can avoid internet censorship too and watch content from different countries. Also, for you guys, they're giving a huge discount. When you use code DTL, you'll get an 83% discount and one month free, which will cost you only $1.99 per month. That's just amazing. So go on, check them out. The link's in the description. So there, guys. That was the Draw My Life of Mini Mentor. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more amazing Draw My Life videos, subscribe to my channel, guys. And I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, peace out.